In this video, I'll be showing you how to look up old transactions, return items, print duplicate or GIF receipts, and add a tip to a transaction. To view your transactions, select Transactions. Your recent transactions will appear, but you can also search by transaction number, date, or sale amount. To view the transaction details, select the transaction. You can see the customer, the items, and sales amounts. If you want to send another copy of the receipt to the customer, select the plus icon and select Resend Receipt. Enter the email address and press Send Receipt. All right, the receipt has been sent. If you need a gift receipt without prices listed, press the plus again and select Gift Receipt. Again, enter the email address and select Send Receipt. If you want to add a tip to a transaction, press the plus and select Apply Tip. Now, because this is a demo, I can't actually charge a credit card. And you can see it says, I paid for this wine tasting with a check. In a real store, you'll be prompted to add the tip amount to the customer's card. So don't get confused that this says check here. All right, enter the tip amount and select pay. The tip will be added to the charges. Now, please note, once you add the tip, it cannot be changed. So make sure to enter the correct amount. Now we can see the tip had been added to the receipt. Now let's return an item. I'm going to select a purchase we previously made. So select the plus icon and select Return Transaction. The item is set to a negative quantity and the total reflects a negative balance. Press Pay. Email the receipt if necessary, give the customer their refund, and the item has been returned. If we look at the transactions, we can see that this item is now returned.